Link 2012. Hello, my fellow gamers! Welcome back to another awesome episode of From Ashes. Uh, sorry, I <laughs> can't even remember the name. <laughs> uh, from Ashes Reborn, obviously. Today, our goal is to complete the lighthouse, which is one of the areas. This is area number nine. Now, those of you who've been paying attention might notice, hey, I'm going on directly to dungeon number nine. What about dungeon number eight? Because we just completed dungeon number seven. Well, it turns out that that one's underwater and I have yet to get anything good for water transversal. So. I am going to wait on those dungeons. There's actually quite a few dungeons that are underwater. At least three that we know of so far. Hopefully we can go with this one. I don't think we'll have a problem. I right, upgraded a lot of my gear here too. In case you couldn't tell. That's why I'm taking very little damage. <laughs> That's by being pelted and falling off a cliff. Right, come on. Come on. Of all the mobs that have to spawn around here, there's got to be a billion skeletons. It's just got to be the skeletons. What's that sign over there, by the way? That's weird. I think it's a sign. I'm not sure. Need more projectile protection. <laughs> Why is there some right here? Where? Man, I am really annoyed at the skeletons in this game. I have gained a resentment for these skeletons throughout the series. That's more than anything else. I think what annoys me is that they destroy your armor. Oh. And there's no other mob in the game that can hit you with as much dead accuracy and evade your attacks so often as skeletons. You can't go in for melee because they'll just evade your face. Okay, great. That's kaboom. Right. Uh, at least Creeper is like their... You just blow them up and they're done. Zombies just go in one direction, no problem. Skeletons will kill your armor, they'll kill your life, and you can't do anything about it. I don't see anything down here. Also, I combined the Lancer and our bow, because our bow was running out. So now this bow can operate as a half-decent melee weapon, if we need it to be. I don't remember, I think we did check out that island already, so I'm not going to bother. We also checked out some of the stuff over here. There was actually Sharpness 5 Sword over there, interestingly enough. Uh, we got a melon cave right down here, and we got that up there. But we'll probably have plenty of time this episode, so let's check out the melon cave. This is also where we found those diamonds earlier, where we got a lot of our diamond supply as well as our emeralds. Right, let's go start moving in. See what we can find in here. Is it really just melons? It's kind of strange, don't you think? This isn't a trap. It's a journal and some ocelot. Wow. Ha 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 ha! I have the power. I have the power over these green exploding freaks. With my army of cats, there is nothing that can stop me now. And all my melons protecting me from radiation, I shall rule this land. Unless there are monsters other than the green ones. Then I need to reconsider. No, no need for that. It's time to retake the land. I love that. That's that's hilarious. That's great. These guys are like little melons over here. It's perfect. Oh, this is so cute. It's such a cute Easter egg. Um, the cats are definitely an interesting addition. I don't think I'm gonna use them, but they're still really. In Let's go up this way. I think this is probably the best path. Oh boy. Not sure what we're gonna get in this. I don't think we're gonna get. Oh no! I forgot my backpack. Guys, we're gonna have to be very conservative on the loot we take, because we don't have a backpack. I am very, very sad. Hopefully, this lighthouse is fairly short. It looks like it is, so we shouldn't have a problem. But it does take us a million years. Get out of here. No, not the gas. These guys have, like, knocked back a thousand. All right, let's just light it up. Got some diamonds right there. I actually have fortune on my diamond pick. 
so I can mine these right off the bat. Adios. It also can serve a tiny bit of inventory space because we won't have to worry about uh, having to store both diamond ore and diamond uh, and diamonds themselves. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead. We probably should loot this after lighting it all up and taking the the castle. Otherwise, these guys are just gonna keep spawning. Where you at? Get out of here. Thankfully, our pick is super fast now, making our life easier. Let's actually go down. I, I do want to kind of loot a little bit. Oh, nuts. Where are you at? Where are they? Where are you? Oh, there's a spawner right there. That's good to know. You can technically shoot these guys through the corner. It's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Where's the spawner? Ah, oh, there it is. Got it. Get some XP from it. The reason I don't have any XP right now is that I did a bunch of anvil work. And anvil actually takes objective levels. It doesn't take relative levels. So, I lost a lot. <laughs> Which is fine. Because uh, I've got a lot of the gear I want. I mean, I don't really have blast protection or fire protection right now. I do have a whole ton of normal protection, which is kind of neat. This is going to be like the entirety of the lighthouse, by the way. It's kind of a small area if you think about it. Keeper's cell. Okay, yeah, never mind. There is more to this. I'm glad there's more to this. I was. This is kind of a tiny, tiny dungeon if, it, if that's it. Um, all right, journal. Let's go ahead and read it quick, quick. I've been locked up here since the sky turned white, though I'm still desperately looking at the horizon. I've lost all hope. Flaming monsters and mutated giant spiders are trying to get me inside, and eventually they will. I won't give them the pleasure of killing me. The rocks down there look so tempting. I wonder how long it will take me to fall. Alrighty, let's go. This does not look safe in the slightest. I think that we're kind of committing at this point. Which is fine. Hello. Goodbye. I don't know if we should do the same strategy of trying to run on ahead, light up, and then go back. I think we should do it at least a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and make some more torches. Get ourselves lit up here. Boom. What do we get? Some pants, some spike armor. Ooh. If I had the watch on me, I'd definitely put that on. But unfortunately, I do not. Get out of here. You are one of the more annoying mobs. I don't really... I, th I thought these guys had punch. I don't think they do, actually, in the end. I was going to say, the fire aspect, I don't really mind. This is the punch that's annoying. Yeah, it's just MFH gas head. Careful under construction to the Futerman Transport System Department of the Town Lighthouse. And we're not really getting any chests here, which is interesting. I don't mind, but, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I hear lots and lots of mobs. Every time we drop down a layer, we're risking a lot. Now let's go ahead and grab you. Let's go ahead and drink you if I can. Alrighty, let's see what we can do down here. Alright, this has been of arthropods, so. Or we can just whack them all at once, I guess. Come here. I want to let me hit them. There we go. Perfect. Ah, there's three, okay. That's giving me a lot of XP, which I'm glad for. Oh, there's one of those. Watch everything break immediately. <laughs> well, there's nothing else we can do here besides uh, water bucket down, so let's do the deed, fellas. Let's see what we got down here. We got this guy. Uh, he's not angry at me yet, so I'm not going to assault him. Got some parrots. 
This is very interesting. I wish I had a backpack right now. Surface access. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this place looks pretty peaceful. I think this is entry to the actual area itself. You see what I mean about them not allowing you to actually get to them? Okay. What's this say? Approach only in the Ferdern boat. Do not touch the portal. It is the property of Futurin Company. Interesting. Does this guy have a journal on him or like some sort of dialogue? Because it's kind of weird. That he doesn't say anything. He's a survivor. We don't have any of those nowadays. There's nothing really useful here besides the anvils that I guess I'll take. Don't we need them though? I guess we have to go through the portal. That is interesting. Let's go. That is... This is it, I guess. Let's go ahead and toss out everything we're not going to use. We don't need the glowstone. Alright, let's do this. I really want to collect the journals, by the way. So I do consider them as super valuable items. For those wondering. Oh, come on. Got him. Sweet. It's definitely a spawner somewhere here. Yep, there it is. Called it. It's kind of nice, though. Uh, I'll take the fish for now. But if we run out of inventory room, it's one of the things that's going to go. What, is, what sort of station is this? Turtle. Okay. That's good. Makes my life easier. And it's good that we're here during the day. Because then mobs aren't, the gas aren't going to spawn as easily. I believe they need a lower light level. I can't be sure, though. Got regen 2. Nope. Oh. Get out of here. Why am I not doing so much damage? I guess the strength potion ran out, but still, I feel like I'm kind of defenseless right now. Do we have witch? We don't have a witch spawner here. We have witches. Shoo. Shoo. Yoink. Yoink. Want to clear out all of these guys first. This way, we have somewhere to fall back on. It's kind of difficult if you want to fall back in a random direction and it turns out there's a thousand mobs there. Why? That's why I like to always clear out the surrounding area first thing. At least to some extent, you know, we don't need to go super overboard. Oh, look at this. There's a, it's quite a bit on the side. I'm going to put a torch here. That way, if it turns night, we'll still be safe. Now oh, we got a boat. We got a chest, a hidden chest over here. Oh! These guys have Frostwalker. That's uh, kind of neat. Do these guys have Feather Falling? I have Feather Falling 2 on my boots. Feather Falling 1, okay. Wait, how do you... How do you turn it on? How, how do you... Use Frost... How do you use Frost Walker? Do you just walk on the water? Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. You can't, you can't really run. Interesting. I've never had Frost Walker before. I, I prefer the Diamond Boots. It's good to have some more protection in the Feather Falling as well. Uh, Gas Tears, Jump Boost... I'll take, I'll actually do some temporary boosting up here. Okay, very good. Hello. Goodbye. No! Get out of here. Okay. Not sure why that guy wasn't taking damage from me. Oh, sweet, we got some diamonds over here. 
once again. Let's secure the area a bit more first. Come on. What is wrong with you guys? I wonder if skeletons are like this in 1.15. Feels like there's kind of crazy this version. Yeah, take all the spawners here. Ah, uh, we got what we got a spawner up here. Nuts, come on. I just want to kill the spawners. Yoink. All right. One of the skeletons killed another skeleton over there. That's cool. It's good at least. Oh boy. We're actually in trouble here cuz there's not there is a limited number of spaces that everything can spawn. Oh, come on. This is which two Okay, we're gonna grab you. I don't know what section of this island I ought to go to right now. All I know is that I'm having trouble. Go. Go away. Shoot. So far this area doesn't seem too tough. It's just a matter of battling up. Kind of like last episode, just way less tense. Which I'm happy for. Boom, boom, boom. There's lava up there, which is interesting. Do we have any other diamonds? Oh, there's a few more up here. Ah, this is where the lava comes in. Okay, we got a few. Uh, this isn't trapped. We really should stop grabbing arrows. I have way too many arrows at this point in time. What's this? Smite 4? Uh, 32 enchant bottles is really good. We've been having problems enchanting for a while now. Get out of here. I got three skeletons right now. One behind me. This is why I don't really like skeleton spawners in the game, too. Because if you get three skeletons, you can't really face off against them. Anti-skeleton mock two. Nope. Wait, got another one? I hear him. I hear something. It's not a skeleton. Yeah, let's go ahead, grab this. We can always throw out stuff we don't need in the future. Okay, we explored all that. It's just a matter of coming up here and finishing the job. Go away. Get out of here. Okay, good. He's he's gone. He's just completely gone. Alrighty. Where's that? Ghast. Ghastly creature. Got you. Let's come up here. Man, they make it hard to get up. They love their half ladders. It's like you have to have ladders in this almost. There's got to be some spawners in here because we're having creepers falling down from above. We got stuff over there. Is it up here? Wow, this goes up. Wow. Do I, how much jump boost? I have plenty of jump boost. Ah, I missed. Rats. Well, it doesn't look like there was anything in the house, so. Completely fine with this. Oh, is this my, oh, this is not my efficiency sword. Where's the sword we got? I think it was last episode that had efficiency a billion on it. what I feared. Get out of here. And I've got a skeleton on me too. Okay, we're, we're out of here. I gotta go. Uh, yeah, I'm using it. Using it. 
Need the regen. We are out of here temporarily. Wow, that was gas. That tree is gone. That tree is burnt down. Did I kill the spawner? I know I killed one of them. I can't remember if I killed both. This is a problem. <laughs> right, we're heading around. We're, we're going around the back, guys. We're going to take down these gas, then go back up. We can get another jump boost potion from earlier. We're running out of potions at this point in time, though. I like the Frost Rocker boots. At least we, we have those now. Right, what else should I have on me? I guess I got j just a regular... I don't want Jump Boost 1. Jump Boost 1's useless. It just allows you to jump over fences. Jump Boost 2 is where it's at. And there's not a Jump Boost 2 potion there. That is a tragedy. This should be more than enough to finish the map. Or sorry, this area. Because it seems like the rest of it's just here. I'm honestly quite surprised about uh, this one. How they teleported you all the way out here to do this map. I guess it's simpler than... I mean, it, it, it provides a lot more content than just one simple lighthouse, which is good. Kind of need that. Got a spawner up there. We should probably take down the spawner this time. No, okay, we did destroy the spawner there. That's good. And I bet this is it. Yep, here we go. At the very least, we need to take this home. we get anything else? We did get a chest, and this chest has Fire Aspect 4, Smite 1. Not really worthwhile. I mean, I'll take it, but... You gotta be kidding me. Where are you? Where is this monstrosity? This sorry excuse of a mob. Skeletons are so difficult in this game. I will rip on skeletons. I have to have something to complain about. You know me. In my super hard let's play, it's bats. They're the bane of my existence. In super hard, in the in this map, skeletons. I can't stand skeletons. We have every type of farming in the game. And a hoe. What a what a silly chest. Not really worth it. Is there anything else good here? I don't think there's anything else here, so let's go. Uh, I do want to check the jukebox, actually. Nope, nothing in it. You can actually put... Oh, wow. <gasps> Wait, mending, isn't that... Mending's really good, isn't it? I'm going to put this in here. Isn't mending like a super rare book? It's like the best book in the game. I've heard. Used to be, like, looting in Depth Strider in... Uh, 1.8. Now it's mending. Because mending allows you to just automatically mend whatever you have, which is kind of cool. Alright, we're back. I kind of want whatever he has on him, but I think we're going to leave that guy be. We'll, we'll let one creature live in all of this. There's at least one other survivor in the world. I'm glad to know that. Also, I just realized... I'm not recording my full screen. <laughs> you see how the jump boost is cut off at the top? Get out of here. Perfect. All right, so that's that complete. There's a weird floating tree right over here. And that is very oh that's because i did th i remember doing that it was to kill an enderman all right you guys want to be annoying be annoying to get back to the base we have to actually go over these mountains so still got some jump boost left in me if i had an ender pearl we could just pearl over but 
All right, I'm actually gonna just walk home. Uh, let's cut the footage here. Woohoo, we are home. Light gray wool on the monument. Booyah. Great work, guys. <laughs> we did it. I just need to get Depth Strider now. And I have no idea how I'm going to do that. So. Eh. What if I enchant something? Oh, I can't. I don't have anything I could <laughs> test enchant. I wanted to see sort of how, uh, what level, what, what I could expect with that. I'm really, I don't know what we should use the mending book with. I think we should probably use the mending book with the bow. How much would that cost? Mending, 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 mending. I can't do it. It's too expensive. Wow. That's interesting. It's way too expensive. Well, hopefully we can find an item that we can put mending on. Uh, helmets are really good because they break super quickly, but also if we can get a pair of depth strider boots, that would be good because we have to do that for at least three areas. Let me show you guys. So on the map right here, I want to do number eight. I'll probably try to see if I can get depth strider. I want to get depth strider before I go to eight, 11, I think those are the only, actually, are those the only two that have underwater? I know 8 and 11 have underwater. I'm trying to think what other ones. There's, I thought there was another one that was underwater. I can't remember. Either way, we really need Depth Strider. <laughs> Frostwalker's nice too, but that's mostly for above water. And you can't sprint with it, apparently. So that's not too helpful for us. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, don't forget to contribute and make the most of your day.